Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So welcome back. Let us continue with the for loop. So in the previous tutorial, we've already seen how the while and until loop will work. So a for loop is mainly used uh, to perform the uh, initialization, increment, and exit condition at once or in the one line itself. Okay, not like uh, using many steps as we use it in um, while or until loop. So now let me create the script called for dot such and we'll see how this for loop will work so one way of writing the for loop is like this you just say for then give the variable name for var in and give whatever condition you want so i'm just uh, going to mention as one two three okay this this is the one of the way of writing we'll see the other ways and all so echo and then dollar var done so here um this variable as it is in uh, you know, until it uh, satisfies this condition it will uh, go into this loop so so var will first be 0 then it will be 1 then it will be 2 then it will be 3 so it will display 0 1 2 3 and then it will come out of the loop okay so that's how it works um, we will we'll run the script and uh, see you can see this so this is one way of uh, writing the for loop then other way is uh, you can even uh, enclose the uh, values in uh, flower brackets for the huge values and all so you can say like this like uh, 1 to 10 make sure that you are giving double dots so 1 to 10 so where until it becomes uh, first it will be 1 then until it becomes 10 it keeps looping so if I run this you can see 1 to 10 will get displayed so this is the second method of uh, using the for loop then the third method is uh, the very common way um, whoever is a programmer they would have already known how the for loop will be like first will be the initialization then will be the uh, uh, the you know some condition will be there then the lastly there will be some incremental value so that's how we use it in our C programming language and all so we can do that also here like uh, for example, I'll just modify this program. I'll just say something like I'll say max is equal to ten. I'll okay. Then um, I'll just say for uh, make sure you're giving uh, two brackets. I is equal to two. Okay. Then col semicolon then i should be less than equal to max mm, when you are comparing the max just make sure the dollar is given max then uh, again colon then i am incrementing with i plus plus i plus plus in a sense it will increment by one okay then end it with semicolon it's a little bit different but the uh, if the first would be the initialization then will be some condition where you are saying the i should be less than equal to um, dollar max then you are incrementing i by one so this is how we, we do it in c programming language so then um, do these, uh, these things are the same then i'm going to um, we don't have a var variable here so i'll just uh, echo out i okay mm, now if I run this program, we'll see how what is the output. You can see two to ten is getting displayed. So we are initializing initializing the uh, i with two. Then we are comparing with the uh, variable called max, right? We are initializing i with two, and we are comparing the same two with the max ten. So until unless the two is less than ten, this should be like running. This will go and get uh, you know the block will uh, run. So and late and then we are even incrementing the i by one. So this is the third method of uh, using the um, for loop. So these are the different ways of using for loop. So we can make use of these uh, for loop, while loop, until loop, and all to you know uh, to compute the factorial of a given number, and also we can print all the odd numbers from one to hundred. So we'll see the those program one by one in the next tutorial. So hope you guys are. Uh, making use of these tutorials if there are any queries then please do mail me um, then please do comment uh, if anything needs to be improved in the tutorial uh, and uh, also thank you very much for watching